The leaves are off the trees. That's your signal to check those carbon monoxide detectors. You always want to make sure it says zero parts per million. State Fire Marshal Bruce West says you should have an alarm on each floor of your home within 10 feet of a bedroom. Otherwise, you'll never know if this colorless, odorless gas is in your house. Unfortunately, we do see deaths and tragedies from carbon monoxide. More than 100 people died from carbon monoxide poisoning between 2008 and 2016, according to the State Department of Health. To raise awareness this week, the fire marshal highlighted a tragic case on its Facebook page. It's a no-brainer. Featuring a Minnesota mom who lost two sons to carbon monoxide poisoning two decades ago. Had I bought that CO alarm, my boys would be here today. In addition to the alarms, the fire marshal says you should get your furnace checked and keep an eye on that forecast. Even though we haven't seen a lot of snow yet in the Twin Cities, when it does fall later this winter, the fire marshal says you should be aware of it plugging up vents and possibly letting carbon monoxide into your home. And the carbon monoxide that's supposed to be emitted through that pipe will come back into the house. You also need to be careful what you're using inside during the winter. Never run a generator in your home. Never uh, have a charcoal grill. Don't run your car in your garage if you've got an attached garage. And just keep an eye on those alarms to make sure they always say zero. Danny Spiewak, CARE 11 News. There are six main CO poisoning systems to look out for. Headaches, nausea, breathlessness, collapse, dizziness and the loss of consciousness. If you notice these symptoms, try to get outside to some fresh air immediately or hopefully somebody will see you and be able to help you. Yeah, that's yeah. always so tragic. Yeah, it it does happen every season, so good reminder. Because there's no smell to it right. and uh, yeah, everything else. So Absolutely really good correct. reminders.